Hello, my name is Jane and I'm a 3D artist at Chaos. I want to show you in this tutorial some Phoenix features that you can take advantage of when simulating using the standalone simulator. Phoenix Standalone Simulator is lightweight and we are not limited by single-threaded communication with the host when we read the geometry, particles and forces or by slow viewport and timeline scrolling. You can close 3ds Max and continue working while simulation is done in the background. Or you can even use it on machines without Max or Maya installed. Now let's see how this can be done. We'll use a campfire scene that we have prepared and set up. And we currently have no simulation, but we have animated the firewood to levitate, then spin around its axis and go back down. And we have also animated the fire source outgoing velocity to start from zero, then increase up to 20, then when the firewood starts rotating, the fire goes out and on the way down, the fire starts again. Now let's simulate this in the standalone simulator. If it's a longer simulation, we could even close 3ds Max and leave the standalone simulator running while we work on something else. We'll go to the Phoenix menu and click on Export Sim Scene. We'll click Export Sim and Preview to prepare the scene. To get the standalone simulator console, start right away after export. And the Phoenix standalone preview window will pop up as well to let us check on how the simulation is going. We can now check the result. And we can see it is properly done. With the fire going up together with the firewood, then goes out while the wood spins around, and then it's flame on again while going down. Let's get some eye candy as we deserve it. Now we'll see how we can use the standalone simulator to simulate our fire with amplified grid resolution. And we can adjust which frame range we want to simulate it. The standalone simulator will have this range in mind. As I said, we'll multiply the resolution one time, as it is set by default in resimulation mode and we'll adjust the stop frame to 50. So we want just the first part of the animation resimulated. We'll start the standalone simulator as before by exporting the sim scene and we can check in the console and on the preview window to see how it's going. It is done and we have the resimulated version ready. But only up to frame 50. Our cache is empty after that as the input uses only resimulated cache we have adjusted to be calculated, which is just for the first 50 frames. Another thing that is supported when simulating in the standalone simulator is time bending the input. So we'll simulate the fire which is now static on the ground in order to see better how the time bend affects the simulation. Have in mind, when simply slowing down the input for each frame for which we don't have a cache file, Phoenix tries to interpolate the missing information to cover it up. Let's try this now and see how it looks when we slow it down. We'll adjust the play speed to a half and render it like this. As we can see, there is some flickering here going on. It would work in some cases, but if we want a smooth flow, We'll need to resimulate with use time band control switched on. I'll put the amp resolution to zero because we don't want to multiply the grid resolution. We just want to recalculate the slow down simulation. We can use the standalone simulator no problem and we'll get a proper result with the speed slowed down to half and animation will be smooth and natural. We can see even in the viewport that the motion is much smoother now. And this is visible in the render as well. We can compare both renders now. On the left side we have the simulation without resimulation, and on the right side with the resimulated time band controls. 
Let's see now how to submit Phoenix standalone simulation to be calculated on a remote workstation using AWS Thinkbox deadline. From the Phoenix menu, click Submit to Deadline. We can export the whole 3ds Max file or the sim scene containing just the simulator and its dependencies. Let's do that. We get a confirmation once the sim scene is prepared and submitted and our job will appear queued in the monitor and will start calculating right away. We can track the progress and check what percentage of the calculation is done. And once it is done, we get the cache files ready in the output folder specified. We have also the option to send the whole 3ds Max scene to deadline. However, this will need to open a 3DX Max copy on the worker and simulate inside it as standard, not using the benefits of the standalone simulator. The standalone simulator is a great tool to optimize your workflow. It is a step towards allowing easier integration of Phoenix into different tools and more complex pipelines. You can let me know in the comments in which cases you prefer using the standalone simulator and how it helped your workflow. I hope you liked this tutorial and if so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.